Hey everyone, it's Melissa with the M Word. If you're new here, I'm a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. I have a seven-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. And we are in our fourth year of homeschooling. If you hear my kiddos, it is because they are playing in my son's room, they're watching a movie. And if you hear my husband snoring, it's because he's sound asleep. We, typically I record on Thursdays and we just, the heat, my husband takes the kids and I record, but lately, my husband got a new job and he's currently working two different jobs and because of that it's been a little bit harder to find a time between his both new jobs and my daughter in ballet and doing nutcracker stuff that it's just been really difficult for me to be able to do the recording on Thursdays. So I hope they don't bother you too much. If, you, if you're new here, I use a, a non-religious customized elite kit from Timbergoodle. I love their kits. I love that they're I love that Timberdoodle doesn't necessarily make their own kit. Honestly, that is part of the reason I love Timberdoodle. I love that they're not just selling a bundled unit that they created. They are going out there and finding the what they are considering what they consider the best of the best, and they are putting it together in a kit for you that makes everything so much easier. And I love that you can customize the kits to really make it work for your family. So that is what we do. We do customize our kits but I'm gonna show you the science items that we got in our Timberdoodle non-religious customized elite kit this year. We got building blocks of science. And if you're, if you're not new to my channel, you know that I'm a little bit of obsessed with all things science and we use basically everything science related in our homeschool. So building blocks of science, we are not, we used a building block, we used building blocks of science K, we used building blocks of science level one, and we will be using building blocks of science level two. So we will be starting this in about three months is the plan. The Timberdoodle kits do come with a handbook. This is our second grade handbook for the 2022-2023 school year. And in this handbook, there is a code so you can make your online scheduler, but they also kind of plan it out for you with this planner here. And it does say for the building blocks of science, there are 22 lessons, and that is about one lesson a week. Now, building blocks of science is a deep dive into science. They cover the five core scientific disciplines. They cover biology, chemistry, physics, geology, and astronomy. This kit comes with the teacher's manual, the laboratory notebook, the student textbook. You also get access to some digital files. I will try to put some screenshots up over here or just kind of like a screen recording of those digital files so you can see what I'm talking about. It does come with a scheduler. Testing, it does come with a test book as well and a study notebook. So I will be completely honest on how we use building blocks of science. I find for my daughter's age, the laboratory notebook to be a bit much for her. So we do the experiments, but we do not have her fill out this notebook. At least we did for kindergarten. Well, they didn't have one for kindergarten. We did for first grade. I will of course take a look when we start this in a couple months. However, my guess is that I still will not be using the laboratory book yet this year. But I do use the study notebook that is a digital file that comes. So I print that out and we go through the student textbook and then she completes her study notebook. They're kind of like a cut and paste, file and sort, kind of an artsy way of going through science. So we read the the chapter, she does her study notebook, and then we do the experiment where I use the teacher's manual that has the explanations of how to do the experiments in there for you. Now there is only 22 chapters. So that is why we're able to use more than one science curriculum because I just do one lesson a week out of this book. And that leaves me, since we're year-round homeschoolers, that leaves me with a lot of more weeks to handle school stuff. So we do this during the summer as well. We just love science. It's fun for my kids. They don't hate it. If it ever becomes a thing where they're disliking doing this much science, we will revisit that. But right now, 
building blocks of science is our science. And my guess is, is as they get older, this might be our only science. I haven't quite decided what the plan is there. Building blocks of science is awesome. I love that it teaches straight actual science. So like I said, it had the five scien scientific disciplines of the 22 chapters, four are divided up for each discipline. And of course, I also love how colorful the book is. It's very intriguing for my children. It is an easy read. It's it's not difficult. It's not like I'm sitting here all day long reading a textbook. And I enjoy, it's not boring either. And it has, it's just packed so full of scientific knowledge. We also get the, get the lab kit for Building Blocks of Science too. I find that it just makes it a little easier for me. It supplies nearly all of the items needed to perform the experiments in the teacher's manual. So most of your supplies will be in the lab kit. Basically the only thing it's gonna be missing is things that are consumable that would go bad in the kit. So my kit, I mean, it just comes as like a huge giant box full of stuff and there's a stopwatch in here. I don't even know if I've gone through and made sure everything was in here this time around. Um, I probably should have, but it looks like we have Tums. Uh, like I said, a stopwatch. We have a large paper, wooden, large tube, cardboard tube. We have a ton of these plastic cups. There's a little how to win a gift certificate thing in here. There is some yeast. There is a ping pong ball. Oh, here we go. Packing sheet. It does say on here like what you'll need that they didn't add into the kit. So like the things you'll need, like mine says sodium chloride and then it says purchase if you don't have salt at home. And um, sodium bicarbonate purchase if you don't have baking soda at home. So mine did not come with those little pieces, but it also makes it really easy. So like here where you need red cabbage in one of the science experiments, you it does have all of the information for you of what you will need in for all your supplies, like what's missing. So you can go through here and easily determine what you need. It also has some information about preparing chemical solutions, a warning about chemicals, it has some string, a couple pairs of gloves, it has a thermometer, a ton of Ziploc bags, it has a lens, it has a bottle, safety glasses, essential, it has a pack of chalk, a little race car, red race car, a pack of marbles, there is, looks like there's a large marble and a bunch of little ones in there. Another lens. So there's two of those now. One says 500 ml mm's and one says 150 mm. Then there is the magnifying glass. There is glow stick colors. Flashlight. One of these little tester tubey things. A little knee, little doctor knee bangy thing, and I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry. I could look it up on the sheet, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You can see it. There is a mini inspector. It is a handheld magnifier with LED and UV light. It looks like... I really don't know what they would... I mean, it says it uses for coin collectors. Um... Paper currency, examining jewelry. Um, there's also a black light on it too. So I don't know what the plan is to use for that, but I'm sure my kids will adore it. There is a steel ball in here. There is the microscope slides. There is, I'm assuming that's the die for the microscopes. And there's some clay and just some a culture kits and some cardboard or uh, cardstock paper. I'm starting to think.
think I might need a microscope though. You would need your own microscope. So if you don't have one, that could be something you may need. Also, I keep all this. So every piece of brown paper packing material that comes in any of our boxes, I fold it up and I store it to use as a table protector when my kids are doing art or science or anything because it is super thick and awesome and it's essentially free. So um, if you're like me and want to make life cheaper, save all this stuff. But I do want to show you one other thing real quick. I have already done a review on it. So I will put the link up here so you can take a look at it. You can ex swap out the building blocks of science for the science lessons and investigations. This is grade two. These is by Evan Moore and it is a worksheet based science curriculum. It does not have any experiments. It has experiments, but it doesn't have like an experiment kit or anything like that. It is just the one book. So if this is more up your alley, you can swap out your science curriculum for this. I believe there's another option to the My Pals International Science. And of course you can go up or down a grade in all three of these when you customize your kit. There, these of course are in the non-religious kits. The religious kits, I'm not even sure what come in those, but I will leave a link below. So if you are interested in the religious kits versus the non-religious kits, you can take a look at that as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Of course, I'm here to help as much as I possibly can. If you like these kind of videos, please go ahead and hit the like button. And of course, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. And of course, I will talk to you guys next time.